Do you want to create a projectile that gets thrown on an arc, just like the Hammer Bros from Super Mario? All right, so to create our Hammer Brothers uh, arc throw appearance, we've got here, we've got a, a player, so I can just control it with the space bar, so I control uh, when it's being thrown for this example. Now, obviously, you would put this on an enemy and then just stick it on a timer of every, like, two seconds. Go ahead and spawn your little hammer. So we've got it spawning in the top corner there of our character. And we need it to go on get pushed on the X to go forward, and we need it to go up in the air on the Y as well. And then we need to pull it back down. And last but not least, we need to add a constant rotation to it. So with that, I think we have a good idea of what we need to do from this point. So let's head on over to our projectile, go into our script. And as you see, I've already got an X speed, a Y speed, and a gravity set up, as well as, of course, our velocity and our move and slide. So all we need to do is we need to go ahead and set our velocity in our ready function here. So we'll set that equal to a vector 2 of our X speed and our Y speed. Now, you can have fun tweaking these numbers however way you would like. Uh, I'm going to change from five, from 800 to 500. And then maybe change my X to 150. So we'll take a look at that. And all we have to do down here in our process now is just add on to our velocity. So we'll say velocity dot Y. And we want to add to it because we want it to go down. So we'll add our gravity amount that we want to affect it. And let's take a look at what we got now. That's our projectile. We want to go to our scene here. Okay, so now when we throw it, there we go. We have the initial velocity pushing it along the x-axis and the y pushing it up. And then our gravity pulling it right back down. So now we have this nice arc and all you have to do is tweak your x, y, and gravity numbers to get uh, different arcs. So if you want a much wider arc, so if you wanted it to go further than there for your uh, for your game, let's say we jumped it up to 300. Now look at that arc. Now we got a nice little kind of like a lop shot, lobbing a shot in there. So if we had uh, like maybe some kind of little tank game, there we go. Choo 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 choo, or a little archer game. And you could just vary on the X based off of uh, the power if you were doing like an archer. That was firing on an, an arch for some reason. <laughs> um, but there you go. We got that. So all we're missing now from our Hammer Brothers example is the rotation of our projectile. So let's go ahead and add that in. So we just want to take self dot rotation. Do you want to take rotation or rotate? Let's see, rotation degrees. And I don't know if we uh, if we got a plus or minus to rotate in the right direction. Pretty sure it's rotating away. From the one that's throwing it. So if we're on the right, it should be rotating clockwise. Uh, so I'm not sure if we need to go this way or the other way, but we'll go. Uh, let's add 10. And multiply that by delta. Of course, when the. Oh, well, it fell down. Uh, let's open that up. It's kind of hard to tell. Try that again. All right, for a uh, moment there, I'm going to just comment that out so I can take a look, make sure our rotation is going. 
Okay, so it is rotating in the correct direction. It is rotating away from us. This real quick for you. So you can get a nice view. So here we've got it rotating in the right direction. We just need to tweak our numbers. Let's try something like that. That seems a little closer to what we would want from the Hammer Brothers. So okay, we just go ahead and activate those again. We don't need to comment that, we just get rid of the pass. And now we have our angle with our rotation of our object. And that's all it takes for us to set that up. So just to uh, get a single one going here, I'm just going to say... Alright, so that should uh, stop us from getting multiples there, and there we go. We now have our little hammer bro throw going on. Again, just uh, tweak those numbers to adjust your arc. You've got all you need. We've got our rotation, we've got our arcs, we're good to go. All you gotta do is just now slap this on an enemy, and time out however long you want in between the throws. Alright, that'll do it for this video, take care, and if you got any ideas or something that you want to see or have help with, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and maybe we'll do that for the next video.